tell from adults who don't know how to swim. So it might alarm you to know how deadly not knowing how to swim can be. Another big surprise, the seemingly vain reason that a lot of women won't go near the water. Okay. I got to adjust the <laughs> Day four and Karen, the swimming instructor at the downtown Y, had me wear a water belt. So this is going to help me float so I can practice my legs and my... Guess what? It worked. Did that make it easier? It does. I could swim all the time if I had one of these things. <laughs> With all of the help that's available, why are there still so many adults who are afraid of the water? According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, in the past five years, nearly 3,000 people have drowned. Now, we can't do a story about swimming and not mention the one thing that keeps most African-American women, myself included, out of the water. That's our hair. The reason is, when African-American women get out of the water, we look like this, and it takes at least a couple of hours to get it back to normal. And according to Richard Dixon of Argentina's Hair Salon, the chlorine can do serious damage to our hair, so we have to protect it. A swimming cap, of course, and um, you need to like really saturate your hair as you would like with a ponytail to just pretty much tie your hair back. Um, and use like a really good leave-in conditioner. If you do that, there is no excuse for avoiding the water. I'm Ooh. making it with the water belt, so we'll now, see. I heard far. also about maybe scars or something like that. We got an email from someone who had, what, open-heart surgery, yeah. and they had a scar, and they were, I guess, embarrassed to swim with other people who didn't. So we're going to look into that and see if we can find some place for you. But don't email me, because trust me, for African-American women, that is the major reason we don't get into the water. Well, it's so. busting a myth. Yeah, true. Then you can do it. So. All right, Scott.